What's up guys, Mr. Anderson336 here. I'm back with another replay today playing my IS3 on Secret Line. We are defending, so let's get into it. So we are in a well we are in a tier 9 matchmaking. Uh it's not the worst I have seen. It could be tier 10 as well. So uh for a tier 9 matchmaking I would say this is pretty good. Already we have already spotted the ST1 and the IS2 and the LTTB. I already know from just watching the SD1's health that he is stuck, so he's not going to be a problem to penetrate uh, later in the game if we're going to encounter him. So you see me use that this spot. If you have a tank like the T32, you are in an amazing spot. Well, depending on how many artillery pieces they do have, because you can use this spot as I just used for hold down. IS3 is not really capable of it because it's a uh, well, it's a. a not, it's not a tall tank, and it's also not having much gun depression. Don't want to expose my side to the tanks that might be right there, like that T-54. So therefore coming around like I was, uh, only showing the most of my side armor. But for now, we're gonna give it a break and let the enemies approach us. So we're in a hold down position here, uh, pretty much impenetrable. But just like the IS-7, however we don't have any weak spots on the top of the tank in the IS-7. But the only tanks that really can mess up our gain at this point is the artillery piece. And well there is no artillery piece on their team who are able to hit us right here. So we're in a good spot. Very much gonna sit and wait it out. Uh, T-10 is approaching, I can also see that he is stuck. Uh, he should have 1800 health if he was. Um, fully upgraded. However, he only has 1700, so therefore I know he's stuck. Also, by knowing that, I know he has 200mm front armor on the turret, and not those 250. Therefore, it would be easier to pin his turret top and turret roof than if he had that 250mm front armor. I do have 225mm of penetration, so it would have been impossible with the upgraded turret on that tank, but he's stuck, so I'm able to pin his turret. His dirt top, his roof. It's a weak spot on all uh, tanks, really. The roof, the commander's hatch. We have able to put a shot into the T10. Uh, he can pin me the same way, just by shooting where I shot him. But, yeah. He's out of the game. Well, he's not out of the game. He has decided to fall back, and, well, we are able to engage a new target here. SD1 is coming around the corner. As I said, he is stuck, so... Well, he, ha he is using the BL9 gun. He's shooting my turret. Focus on the IS-6 because he has a better shot on my lower pick. SD-1 is taking most of the space and, well, there's no chance he's gonna pin my roof. Because he is... what He's even shorter than I am. Uh, not that tall. So he's not able to shoot down on it. Therefore I'm able to kill him and, well, he's not able to do much about me. He's out of the game. IS-6 IS is still here and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a tracking shot. However, he is moving, so uh, just take the easy shot on the low plate, and he's a one shot now. Yak Tiger takes him out, and well, this side is pretty much dealt with at the moment. T54 mod 1. Unfortunately, I right click, so I'm aiming at the wall when he gets by, he gets by, therefore shooting the wall. Unfortunately, bit of a donkey move, but uh, well, it, it's not like it costs us anything. Uh, that was no trade wall, so it's fine. T-34 mod 1, well, T-34 slash 1 killing the mod 1. And now we have T-54 and a T-10 in front of us. This is an extreme angle and, well, that was a donkey shot, but... Uh, who knows, we might have gotten lucky and actually been able to penetrate it. There's a yak tag behind us. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. That was a... Well, that's the SU-14-1 killing off the TNI. <laughs> Holy... I'm happy I didn't get hit by that. Um, yeah, anyway, so Yaktag is behind us. Uh, T54 and T10 is in front of us. If they haven't fought back like this, I would have been able to. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to attack like I am right now, because uh, they would have doubled the firepower. They should really just have stuck to their corner. However, they might be taking flanking fire since they are falling back, but I'm not really sure. Another low, another shot into the low plate of the T10. You can see this tank is handling itself even against the mines. Um, which just proves that the IS-3 is good and balanced. 
There's no way that this tank should do that well. Oh, I don't have XVM, so I don't know the V and eight, whatever, of these uh, uh, enemies I'm encountering. I'm pretty much just uh, relying on my own ability to see when I have a chance to attack. But yeah, T10 is out of the game. Uh, T54 is still here, so we're gonna engage him next. So he's sitting around the corner. He is messing with our Yak Tiger. We put a shot into him and the VK 4502B finish him off. So, city is pretty much done. Um, there is no enemies left in here. Well, not at the moment. No one spotted, so uh, we're ready to go hunting. There is no threats left on their team. There is a well, T25 slash 2 and an IS and a LTTB. They are all able to penetrate me, well, only in the low plate or from the rear or behind. My side also. But uh, knowing the last known position on the map, I'm, well, I'm pretty sure that they are in front of us. And, well, two of them can spot it. The artillery and a T25 slash 2. Just shot into his rear. He's not having a fire extinguisher or else he's just not using it. He's out of the game and, well, artillery missed his shot, which is pretty lucky. I mean, if he would have hit me, I would probably have been dead. So, I'm very happy with that. Should probably have loaded the HE at this moment, because that's giving me a better chance of one-shotting the artillery. However, if I bounce or low rolls on the artillery, I should fire two shots anyway. So we're just taking one, and I'm expecting the 1375 or the AMX to finish him off. <laughs> wow, that 1375 really does like to uh, take a chance. He just rolled out in front of the gun. <laughs> Holy... Oh. Um... But the LTTB and the IS get spotted in the city, so we are approaching them. MXCC actually managed to take out the artillery, so uh, expected the 1375 to get him. But well, uh, yeah, he wasn't that lucky apparently. So IS is left as the only enemy, um, approaching him with our IS-3. And last time we spotted him, he was a one-shot, so... Uh, well, one shot more in this game should be over, well, depending on who is getting the shot first of him. Where is he? There he is. He is definitely a one shot. Now we're fucking lucky. You're probably right, Mr. Siri. Roll around the corner, right click on fire. That could have, well, messed with me, but we managed to penetrate and we get the kill. And GG, well played. And let's take a look at the post game stats. So out of this match, we got a Tang Ace, we got Fire for Effect, we got Bruiser, we got High Caliber, 65,000 credits and 2,100 experience. 4,575 damage, 3 kills, 1,428 base experience. 15 shots fired, 13 hits, 12 penetrations, 4,600 damage, well approximately. We bounced 2 shots this game, didn't fire that much gold this game, so our ammunition costs aren't that high, and also we didn't get destroyed. So our repair cost isn't that high as well. So we managed to make a profit on 42,000 this game. Thanks for watching guys, have an awesome day whenever you watch this. Remember to have fun in the games, because that's why they're made. I'm Mr. Anderson336, and I'm out. Good.